Hey guys, Pro1701 here, and today we are continuing our ranking of the seasons and series of classic and modern Doctor Who from worst to best. Now, there were 41 entries on this list because in addition to the 39 seasons that compromised classic and modern Who, I was also um, including the 2009 specials as a separate entry and the 50th anniversary specials as a separate entry entry and today we are on number 17 on that list and it is the 50th anniversary specials represented here in this steel book with art by the amazing Lee Binding my favorite Doctor Who artist and that just looks gorgeous that looks fantastic I absolutely adore the 50th anniversary specials to one degree or another uh, I count Night of the Doctor as part of that I also count it as Part of series seven but i count it as part of the 50th specials because i do think of uh like name day and time kind of as a trilogy um name of the doctor is really nice it really sets up the mystery of what's going on uh, i love the intro to it when clara's interacting with all of the classic doctors and the music is booming in the background i love the i am the doctor theme that 11 has so that's that, that was definitely a takes my breath away moment the episode itself is good. It has some really touching moments when uh, Matt is upset about learning about Trenzalore, about seeing Trenzalore as desolate as it is. And, and then has a, that heck of a cliffhanger with the reveal of John Hurt as a before now hidden version of the Doctor that we didn't know about. And it's John Hurt. And then after that, the lead up to the 50th, that was just... I remember the media storm around that because Doctor Who was really at its peak at the time. 2013 was such a year for Doctor Who. That's another thing. Is not just the stories themselves, but everything that was going on in Doctor Who while these specials were happening. I mean, it really was at its peak um, in popularity all over the place. I mean, I had girls I dated. One of the reasons we dated was we liked Doctor Who. Multiple people talking about here not just one um and then you have like a couple of the mini specials like the last day i like the last day which is just kind of a day in the life of a soldier fighting during the time war i enjoyed that that's a heck of an ending when all the doubts come swarming down especially when i mentioned safest place in gallifrey arcadia and we know about the fall of arcadia because tenet had talked about it before so that was a cool little short and then of course we have an adventure of time and space which i've never actually watched. I need to do that one day. I know I need to watch it. I just never got around to it, but I hear it's fantastic. We have Night of the Doctor, which is my favorite part of this whole set. I love Night of the Doctor. It is such a joy to see McGann back in this role, finally. Even though it's only a mini episode, to see him in this role, and he owns it. He owns every second of screen time he gets. It's neat to see how his doctor has changed over the course of like the audios and stuff from where he was in the TV movie to where he is now and how, you know, he just looks like he's been through the ringer. You know, his outfit looks more thrown together. He looks a little more haggard. Like the everything that the eighth doctor has been through in his life has just taken a toll on him. But he's still trying to fight the good fight. He's still trying to help where he can. He's still trying to be a doctor. And I love that. And he even has the little humorous parts with Kess right at the beginning. Back of the ship. Why? The front crashes first. Think it through. I love that. Mmm. Is every day like this? If you're lucky. There's that little bit of banter before she realizes he's a Time Lord. And it does a really good job there of showing just kind of what the Time Lords had become. You know, when the, her immediate reaction to learning who's a Time Lord is to step away from him, block the door, and embrace death, basically. She would rather die than go with him. At least I'm not a Dalek. Who can tell the difference anymore? It just tells you what the Time Lords have become just in that dialogue. And then the second half of it, when he's talking to the, uh, the priestesses of Khan, or the sisterhood of Khan, Khan, um... I like that bit about, well, that's ages. What if I get bored? Anyone up for chess? What for TV? What's on TV? Bring me knitting. I love all of that. That's just, I love that. Keepers of the flame of utter boredom. Eternal life. That's the one. I, I love, I 
just love again in this one. And in his final words, a physician healed us. It's such a good ending. And seeing that reflection of John Hurt using the archive footage of a younger John Hurt, and you realize just how long the war doctor has been the war doctor, which really doesn't work with the doctor's age, but the doctor's age is all over the place. But I love Night of the Doctor. I love Night of the Doctor. Day of the Doctor is good. I think it's perhaps a little overrated. It's still really good. I don't, I think the five doctors and the three doctors and time crash are all better. And I feel like Day of the Doctor is more a celebration of modern who than it is Doctor Who as a whole. But it's still good. I enjoy it. It's nice having Tenet back, even if his hair looks weird. That always bugs me about his hair. But it's nice having him back. It's nice having Billy Piper back in a way that makes sense, that doesn't feel forced. I actually like the way they do that. She does a good job playing the moment. Um, I wish we'd had more of John Hurt on his own, because once he's with the others, he's kind of playing third fiddle to the other two. <clears throat> but it is great having him there, because John Hurt. I like the fact that the 10th Doctor and the... Uh, 11th Doctor get on so well. That's really neat. I enjoy when they go to save Gallifrey. One, I think it's cool they bring the Zygons back too. Uh, but when they go to save Gallifrey and all, the, all of the Doctors show up, that really, the first time I saw that, again, I love that I Am the Doctor theme. So seeing them manage to use the archive footage to make it look like all the Doctors are there working. My only gripe is I wish that had lasted longer. It's, a, it's like it's a there and it's gone moment. I really wish they had did like an extended version of that and really shown like an individual shot of each doctor with a couple more sound bites. I, I really, like there's a couple fan edits of it that are really, really good. And I wish they had done more like that. But I'm still happy it's there. I love that they snuck in that neat shot of Capaldi, you know, with the attack eyebrows. Because we didn't know that was coming. I mean, we Capaldi had been announced. We knew who the next Doctor was going to be. But I love that they snuck him into it there. And of course, I love uh, the 11th Doctor meeting the curator at the end. That's one of my favorite Doctor Who moments of all time. And I knew as soon as I heard that voice. You know, I really think you might. I knew as soon as I heard that voice, my eyes went wide. Because to me, that's, that's such an iconic voice. Such a recognizable voice. So as soon as I heard it. I got, there was that moment of shock and then I got super excited. To this day, I still love that scene. Um, and then Time of the Doctor, I like. I think it's fine as a one-parter. I know some people think it should have been a two-parter, but I, I enjoy it. I like the fact that he basically just dies of old age. He regenerates because he got old. And while it's not a long time from Clara's point of view, you know, he's there for like, I think he's supposed to be like 900 years total, 900 years. And the doctor isn't immortal. He does age just slowly. So he spends 900 years defending, you know, Trenzalore. The makeup looks really good too. The makeup when he's aging is actually pretty well done. I liked the makeup. And uh, I just, I enjoy the performance of Time of the Doctor. I think it's a good story. I love Matt's speech at the end. I think the bit with him seeing Amy is a little much. It's a little fan service but it's fine. His speech doesn't go on too long like Capaldi's does. Uh, other than the Amy cameo, I think it's about the right length. I was fine with it. Um, I don't like how they kind of had to sneak in like the angels in a scene for no reason. But I like the fact that it's ultimately down to him and the Daleks. And I do like the wooden Cyberman. I know some people don't like the wooden Cyberman. But I think that was a clever idea by the Cyberman. Low tech, sneak it in. That makes sense. I enjoy that. Yeah, I, um, the regeneration itself is okay. I don't really care for the sneeze. I'll give it credit for being different, but I don't really care for the sneeze regeneration itself. But yeah, I like Time of the Doctor. Uh, I don't think it's like phenomenal or anything, but it's good. I like it. It's great. So, And that's why the 50th is here for me. And again, it always is going to give me memories of when Doctor Who was just at this really good high point when everything was just really firing for it um and so it also is going to be up here for that so the 50th anniversary specials what do you think of them comment down below and let me know i always enjoy hearing from you guys and plus all the other fun stuff to do this down in the description you know links to the patreon link to the amazon wish list p.o box if you want to send anything all that stuff's down there as well check that out 
I want to give a shout out to Stephen Crane, one of my top tier patrons. I appreciate his support and the support of all of my patrons. Thank you very much. And most importantly, thank you for watching.